Hello everyone, uh, welcome to our webinar, uh, Common 100 live chat on new reporting system. Um, as it's about one o'clock, um, I think we'll, we'll, we'll get started. Um, so to, just to introduce myself, um, my name is Kay Chapman, I am Com 100's customer experience and training consultant. Uh, I've worked alongside contact centers for nearly 10 years now, so I do understand how crucial data is in the provision of your live chat service. Also on this call today is uh, my colleague Rob. Rob, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi everybody, thanks for joining the webinar today. My name is Rob Precious and I'm the Director of Enterprise Sales here at Common 100. Excellent. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the webinar is going to take about half an hour today. Um, actual webinar content is probably going to be around 20, 25 minutes. Um, so we'll be running through uh, what's new with our reporting system, giving you an overview of all of the different reports. We'll be demonstrating how to work with those reports in your dashboard, um, and then uh, we'll be opening up for a question and answer at the end. So, um, first things first, why have our reports changed? Um, I guess you, you need to consider that today, as more and more businesses move to multi-channel customer service platforms, staying on top of analytics can be a really big ask. Um, you should be able to access information on each channel quickly and easily without needing to resort to all sorts of complicated formulas and spreadsheets in Excel. Um, and we do recognize at COM100 there is a need for you to not only be reactive to changes in traffic as they happen, but also to really proactively predict changes before they occur. And our new reports help you to do that, all within our standard dashboard. Um, so our new reports, we put them together really um, so that you can uh, gain even more control over every aspect of your system, which will help you to resource more effectively, monitor the performance of your agents, track customer feedback, and gain even more detailed insights into the aspects of your service which are most important to you. Regardless of your business type, size or priorities, there will be at least one report which will really help you. So I'm just going to hand over to Rob now, um, who will start uh, talking you through a little bit more of the content of the reports. Thanks, Kay. Great. Yeah, so taking a look at what's new. Um, so first of all, we've added uh, many more new reports uh, in, in total, um, uh, some of which include uh, wait time reporting, uh, chat source reporting, chat transfer, um, manual invitation as well as auto invitation, detailed reporting on that, uh, and even added offline message reporting. Uh, so we'll take a look now, a uh, deep dive into the new reporting platform uh, and walk you through uh, some of the new reports uh, that we've added. Let me just pull that up now. So here we have the Common Hunter Control Panel, which of course everyone's familiar with. Uh, but as we click on the new uh, reports module, uh, we're now taken to the real-time reporting. So this is extremely useful for anyone uh, which needs, of course, to monitor um, you know, their, their agent's progress on how many folks are on the website, visitors, uh, how many agents are in chats, how many ongoing ch chats they have, uh, if, the, if the, the queue is getting backed up, what's the current queue length, um, visitors on the site, and, and of course, managing how many logged in agents they have. Um, and, and in some cases, what percent of chat utilization for the day? Uh, the way we calculate chat utilization is the time in which the chat's active and the time in which the chat's being used. Uh, so you can see here on the COM100 side of things, we have uh, a few folks online. Uh, you can see that Pritz taking one chat. He's had five chats so far today. Uh, his overall chat time for the day uh, is 48 minutes. And we can see some of our other reps who are not on shift right now, but you know how many, what was their overall uh, chat time uh, for, for the day. Uh, looking over here on the right hand side, so we can see the number of chat requests that have come in. And the nice thing about the new reporting is as you hover over uh, these items, it gives you a little blurb as to uh, you know, what, what, uh, what that metric means. So 43 requests and 43 chats, and therefore we've achieved 100% acceptance rate, which is great. Of course, you all want to uh, to try and achieve uh, a perfect acceptance rate. Uh, being able to track uh, abandoned chats or any time the client may have switched to a message, so meaning that they were in the queue, they couldn't wait for whatever reason and transferred to a message, uh, and any missed chats as well. So we've been keeping an eye on that. Uh, looking at service efficiency, uh, so what's the average wait time? So for us at Common 100 today, 
Uh, the great thing is that we haven't had any any um, backup in the queue, so everyone's been received their um, or been handled uh, immediately. Uh, average chat time for us today was around 12 minutes. The agent response time um, for responding to a particular message uh, just under a minute, and then we can see the amount of accepted invitations as well, our service accessibility rate, and then the total number of transferred chats. Uh, from the agent performance perspective, uh, what is the unique chat rate? And then the overall a agent utilization today. So this would be the amount of time our team uh, are involved in chats based on their logged in time. So right now we're, we're almost at, at 20%. So it's somewhat of a busy day. Uh, of course, our, our guys are handling chats, phone calls, and emails. But uh, in this case, that's still pretty high for us. And then we can see the average score. So this would be our client feedback or visitor feedback based on their experience chatting with our agents. So uh, it's four out of five, which is, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, next tab I have up here is the agent tab. So this helps me to see, or helps any of our clients to see the number of agents we have online and, and how busy they are right now. So you can see that Prit has one chat going, whereas our other two uh, agents uh, are, are, not, are not on chat at the moment, but are managing their overall uh, today's chats as well as their linear chat time. And we can get a sense of their online versus away time uh, for the day. So in some cases, for folks that are more in, into sales and faults that's acquired after the chat, they may have a higher away time compared to those that are strictly support and are online for the, the majority of the day. And of course, you can see all the, all the different team members there as well. The, the next one we have here is the queue. Uh, of course, we don't have anybody in the queue right now, thankfully. Um, but if there was a backup of the queue, you'd be able to see who and how many uh, folks are waiting in the queue. All right, so next up here, we have the chat volume uh, reports. So first of all, it, it, to note that our reports have changed, that the actual look of our reports has changed. They're much more visual now. Um, it really just provides uh, this is a better uh, look, a bit more um, sort of aesthetically pleasing look uh, of the reports compared to the, the previous uh, version. Uh, so for today, we can see the chat volume, the volume of incoming chats, uh, missed chats, refused chats, and what's our overall chat acceptance rate. Um, in this case, we have it for the last 30 days, so looking at the last month. And of course, our clients can, you can select the date parameter that's, uh, whether it be custom or last week uh, as well. So there's a few different filters that can be applied uh, to the, uh, this, this particular report view. There can be a filter by campaign. There we go here. Filter by, and so if you had multiple uh, campaigns set up, filter by department and then filter by visitor segment. Visitor segment's a new feature that's been recently added to the Common Hunter platform, enabling you to segment those visitors that are coming back onto the site uh, and provide notifications on those as well. Um, so for the uh, chat time, of course, or the, the uh, overall uh, request report, number of chat requests, chats, missed chats, refused, and what's your acceptance rate? So for the last 30 days, we've achieved a 98% uh, acceptance. And of course, you can go down for each day of the week uh, or day of the month and, and see um, you know, how the uh, other teams are performing. The next uh, tab here is the chat, uh, the by campaign reports. So for those clients which may have multiple campaigns, um, meaning that you may have a support uh, team, a sales team, maybe uh, there's separate campaigns set up on different areas of the sites for different product lines, um, you're able to, to drill into how many chats, really how those campaigns are performing. Um, so the overall acceptance rate, missed chats, refused chats, and so on, and just gauging uh, the volume and the success uh, of those campaigns. Next tab is the by department uh, breakdown. So for Common Hunter, we can see we're, we're about uh, equal on the sales and uh, support chats, maybe a few more for support, uh, but relatively equal there. And, and of course, just again, tracking by department, uh, how the teams are, are um, are working as in terms of their acceptance rate and uh, you know, how they're doing as far as missed and, and if any refused chats and tracking that, of course. Lastly, by visitor segment. So this is a, a really new feature for Common 100. Um, and in terms of the visitor segment, an idea would be that if, um, uh, let's say, a VIP client or uh, a client that maybe had a bad experience the last time, you can actually have these different visitor segments where you can drill into that and see you know, um, the type of notification they would receive and of course, how that would uh, shake out just as far as the acceptance of Mr. Refuse chats as well. 
Just to jump in quickly, one extra very cool filter that we've added to this chat volume report. If you click to filter by time, then you'll notice that uh, you can filter the report uh, by 24-7 distribution. Um, to, to view a breakdown of uh, how chat volume has changed over the last 24 hours. And one additional very new filter we've added is to uh, view the distribution per half hour. If you have agents working on split shifts, you will know how useful that will be. Great, yeah, thanks Kate. On to the next tab I have here is chats by source. So in this case, we wanted to break out uh, how many chats are being initiated by visitors? So, you know, a, a visitor simply opening up on, uh, clicking on the chat button, opening up a chat uh, with your team. Uh, but also for those that are utilizing the manual invitation or auto invitation functionality, uh, what's the, the breakdown of, um, uh, of those chats as well? Um, so in this case, again, just being able to see for, from a problem, we, we don't use that feature too much, but uh, you can see there was a few that were done in here, and we can track on those too. And again, by department. Uh, so for those that are that are heavily sales reliant, you may have more auto invitations, more manual invitations, and just again be able to see the breakdown of those particular invitations. Uh, this one I quite like. It's the chat source by requesting page. Uh, so uh, depending on where the chat's optimized on a client's website, uh, being able to drill into the pages which are performing the best, um, and then of course, um, you know, just for example, uh, like a payment page or a high value page, just ensuring it's performing well. Next up, we have the queue reports. Uh, so overall, chats from queue. Uh, anytime a client uh, or a visitor switched to message, leaving us a message, abandoned chats, refused chats, and then the max queue size. Uh, so it's again great for, for staffing and just managing the volume there uh, by queue. And of course, all of the reporting now, so not, as, as uh, Katie had uh, mentioned, we can also track that by half hour and 24-7 distribution as well. And then lastly, we switch over to the department tab and be able to drill into uh, that as well. So all the same metrics just by department. Next up, we have the wait time reporting. So for wait time reporting, uh, average wait time before a chat, of course, is accepted. For those that are using the auto allocation feature, likely, unless there's a, a backup in the queue, uh, this would be uh, very low, if not zero, because the chats will be allocated to those reps. In other cases where you have the auto allocation feature turned off, the rep will need to answer the chat, uh, and therefore there may be uh, some, some wait uh, times there, depending on how quickly the rep can answer the chat. Um, so in this case, we have uh, 0.4 seconds, so four seconds, um, average wait time of a missed chat, which is interesting, uh, is about a minute. Uh, the max wait time uh, was 16 minutes, and the max wait time of a missed chat was about four minutes. So, you know, saying on, on average, those that uh, are waiting to, to chat with, with us typically will wait for about a minute. So some interesting metrics there. Um, and of course, we able to track that at, uh, for, the, for the last month, or for any date parameter you, you may look to, to set. By department, so we get, again, quite useful to drill into, you know, for us, for example, we have multiple departments here, sales support or email marketing department, just how those departments are performing when it comes to wait time. So, of course, we want to uh, ensure our clients' uh, chats are, are being picked up um, very quickly. Just, just to jump in quickly, one extra quite interesting insight you can get from these reports is by looking at the queue report and the wait time report together, you can see how wait time affects your visitors' actions when they're waiting in the queue. Um, so that's one instance where these, these two reports can kind of work in tandem to give you a better insight into um, how willing you, your visitors are to, uh, to, to wait in the queue. Definitely. Okay. All right, so another new one we've added here is the chat transfer report. So for those clients which maybe have multiple departments set up, and in some cases you may need to transfer chats through them, uh, so they're serviced by one department, and need to go to you know the billing department afterwards, or from sales to support, and so on, uh, be able to track you know, how many chats are being transferred and where they're going. So total number of transferred chats by department, and then be able to uh, switch over to uh, the transferred in and transferred out chats. So quite useful to, to be able to drill into that as well. Of course, uh, I, I keep uh, speaking of this button here. This particular button just enables you to export all the chat data. 
uh, if you if you wish to do so, uh, you can do so at any time into a CSV format. And next up, we have availability. Uh, so another key metric, of course, is uh, for those that maybe have uh, set hours of operation for chat, uh, ensuring it is available uh, during that, that period of time. Or for those that are 24-7 operation, uh, again, just managing or ensuring the chat is, uh, is up and running um, overall uh, or for that entire 24-24 um, uh, hours a day. Um, so next up here, we have the ability by department. So there are certain uh, times in which the department would be open, same thing. So just being able to ensure that, uh, that everyone is, is, uh, is active and online and that the chat's up and running. And then by agent. So agent availability over the course of the week, if there's any um, I, I, metrics in place uh, for that, just ensuring that uh, these guys are online, logged in, away time, and just managing, again, logged in versus away time. And then the change log. Following availability, we have the agent workload report. Uh, so here we can see linear chat time versus idle time, and therefore the agent, so we measure the agent utilization. Um, so for us, for the last 30 days, we can see the overall linear chat time, and how much time that they're idle, and therefore we can see that our agents are utilizing chat about 40% of the time. A pretty uh, key metric to know as well. And just looking back over each day is again helping our clients to gauge, you know, when their busy peak periods are, and then even more so being able to drill into, you know, the 24/7 distribution and, and be able to gauge, you know, for staffing purposes uh, when you're going to want to have folks on shift. And as well for departments, uh, departments is um, be able to see how how busy uh, sales is and versus support or any other departments you may have added. And then by agent, too. All right, and the next one we have up here is efficiency reporting. So being able to measure agent response times, uh, we, we feel is very important because we want to ensure that you know, everyone's, everyone's getting a timely response. Uh, depending, of course, on the nature of the business, of the chat, some responses do take longer. That's um, you know very uh, complex uh, product or or, uh, or support uh, that needs to be delivered. Uh, but just able to see how quickly the agent can respond, uh, what the average wait time is for a client to receive uh, the uh, or fish to log on, and what the average chat time is, um, and then of course being able to set that date parameter again, and then apply various filters here by department by agent. And we click over to the by department tab. Uh, measuring the agent response time between support and sales, the wait time, the chat time, um, chat messages compared to visitor chat messages, and then how frequently are they using the CAN messages? Um, and we actually have some CAN message reporting down here, which I'll get into shortly. And then perhaps for uh, some review periods, it would be uh, relevant to look at the agent uh, response time, the wait time, and so on. Uh, just to compare um, how they're doing uh, against each other, uh, so we'll to see how, how 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 long it takes an agent to uh, to handle the chat and how um, how efficient they're being uh, with regard to the, the visitors' chat messages as well. The next one we have up here is rating. So uh, within the Common Hundred uh, platform, we can we can score up to five here just on the rating by by stars. Um, and be able to tie that into the reporting as well. So um, depending on uh, you know what's going on with our company, there may be new products added or, or new uh, processes, uh, and just be able to to tie that to the ratings on any day of the week when something uh, may change, uh, on foreseeable circumstance, or or just uh, something something new that that may occur. Uh, be able to track these these responses, these scores after the chat's completed. Um, so for, for Common Hunter, we have an average score of the last 30 days of four, which is uh, pretty good. Um, and then looking at the, by department as well, being able to measure uh, which departments are performing better on the chat, again, uh, quite very important. Um, and then by agent, of course. So how are the agents performing? If that's tied to any uh, reporting um, that needs to be done on a monthly basis, uh, how the agents are being rated. Following the rating, we have the post-chat survey. Uh, so for the post chat survey, again, be able to, to look to see what type of response you're getting from all your post chat questions. Uh, from column 100, we have my questions were answered, 
I would recommend the service to others, well answered, um, so on. So we have a different, we have a few different campaigns which all uh, show up here, uh, depending on, uh, so, so for all of our campaigns. And you can, of course, filter this down by campaign. So very useful for those that, you know, maybe have chat separated out for support, and sales, or uh, as a sector different product line, uh, how they're performing, um, or, or just you have how those survey questions are being answered, but likely they would be different. Uh, the pre-chat survey, which we don't actually have uh, set up here at Column 100, we just uh, prefer our clients to jump right in, and we pull custom variables to know who we're speaking with. Um, but if you did have the pre-chat question set up, you'd be able to see all the same answers there, and of course, all this can be exported. The wrap-up survey. So for those that are taking advantage of our wrap-up survey functionality within the visitor monitor, this is where the agent can complete the survey based on the business requirements or the, the questions the business would like to get answered. Typically, this would be something in lines of, uh, you know, what was the, the type of chat that came in? Like, what was it uh, meant for? Uh, sales and so on. Um, you know, help desk uh, and that type of thing. Was there any follow-up that's required? Is there, was a sale made? If so, how much? You can report all those different questions within the wrap-up survey. And again, that can be exported as well. For the manual invitation, this is where the agent uh, would manually hit the invite button when they see somebody on the site. Uh, you can see how many sent and how many accepted by time and by agent, just like so. And then for the auto invitation, so where you have, would have optimized your auto invitations, be able to see how those are converting. So it seems that ours aren't so optimized because the conversion rate is pretty low or the acceptance rate. Um, but over here, you're also able to see by campaign uh, the various uh, auto invitations or by invitation itself how they're how they're, how they're um, how, what the conversion rate is. So uh, useful for those that are optimizing auto invitations. The offline message reporting. So um, being able to see from the offline button if you have enabled the offline message how frequently those are coming in uh, from the chat queue or from the offline button. So if you're noticing there's a lot of offline messages coming from the chat queue because people are probably waiting for too long uh, and just leaving a message and hoping they'll be uh, contacted later on. And again, might be an indication that you need to add some more uh, agents uh, for that particular shift. And you'll attract it by campaign, by department, and by visitor segments as well. And the last one we have here is the canned message report. So quite useful, again, just for those that, that maybe have some very detailed CAN messages um, and be able to track to see how many or how frequently they're being used. And for the ones that aren't being used, they need to be either updated or cleaned out of the system. Uh, but again, be able to track all of the CAN messages. For me, I think one feature about this report that's really interesting is that you can obviously see how many times a particular CAN message has been used, but you can also see how many agents have used it. Um, so, I mean, th this will allow you to check the consistency of your service, potentially identify any opportunities for agent coaching and improvement if you can see maybe only one or two agents are using a CAN message that could really help others. Great, thanks, Kay. And I think we were wrapped up the demo portion uh, with the perfect timing here. So for the rest of the uh, webinar today, we'll, we'll take any questions uh, from those that are, that are online right now. Uh, happy to, uh, to answer any questions. Please feel free to, to add those through the, the questions uh, tab there or the question within the GoToWebinar go to control panel. And we have a question, when are these going live? They, they actually were live as of January 6th. So for those that are on our shared platform, you would have already received uh, the reports in, the reports will be available in your system now. Uh, for those that are on-prem or on dedicated server, uh, this will be uh, updated uh, based on uh, the, your requirements, essentially. Um, so let us know uh, on that. So yeah, so for all of the um, all the the users that are on our shared platform, they were pushed live yeah, just after the new year on January 6th. And for everybody else, uh, we we're just um, be booking those uh, updates, upgrades to the system um, with our clients. Whenever.
whenever they're ready. Please let us know if there's any uh, questions on uh, any any functionality questions. That's the answer. So I've got one question here. Uh, would you recommend breaking out support teams in different time zones into two departments, or is there plans for time zone splitting? Um, yeah, so, so, so I would say, yeah, having them in different departments, that's how we do it here at Common 100. So we have uh, another office, we've got a couple of offices uh, all over the globe. Uh, so for us, we just have different departments which would come on based on their shift. Uh, so that, that's how we're doing it. Although, uh, as part of so, the, I should also uh, let you guys know, uh, all the other companies today, that this is phase one of our of our new uh, reporting platform. Uh, phase two is going to be coming out soon as well. It's going to contain even more reports. Some of which, and I'll give you guys a bit of a, a preview, uh, will be report scheduling. So being able to schedule a report to be sent out to like a management group um, periodically, like weekly or monthly. Um, and also, there will be the ability to schedule uh, a shift. So, you know, scheduling an agent to be live for a certain time. We've had some requests for that. So that may kind of um, answer the, the question I just got there. Essentially, you can do both. Um, but at Common 100, we, we, we have it separated out into different departments. I have a question, are the reports available in the preview version, actual data from our chats now? Uh, essentially, any reports that, that you have access to if you're uh, previewing or utilizing the Common 100 platform, if you're on a trial or uh, not fully live yet, uh, it's going to be pulling uh, all the data from your active chats. So as soon as you add that code to your website, uh, you'll be able to, um, uh, to see all the, all the reports will, will immediately start working. So we had some great feedback here. It would be nice to select a 30-day view and then set operating hours within that 30-day view. Um, yeah, I, I believe that is part of the new functionality that we're looking to roll out as a phase two of the reports. I should also say that part of that um, will include a conversion report um, that will be coming out on phase two. And what I can do, and certainly uh, these uh, questions will be shared with our, with our product team after the uh, webinar today, so likely we can provide that feedback already and, uh, and get that rolled out for, uh, for our clients uh, in the short term here. So thanks for that feedback. And please let me know if there's uh, any additional questions. Otherwise, we'll probably wrap this webinar up for the day. Uh, there will be a copy of the recording sent out to everyone that was uh, that took part. Um, so definitely, uh, any questions you always listen to the, record, the recording. Uh, but also, feel free to, to email me directly. Um, I'll pull up my contact details here. So feel free to give me a call or send me an email uh, if you have any additional questions. All right. So I'd like to thank everybody for taking the time to view our webinar on the new reporting platform today. 
Uh, definitely look forward to any additional questions. And uh, again, thanks for taking part. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks again from me. Thank you for attending. We hope you love the neighborhoods. Take care.